My name is Paul Hyam. Uh, I lived in New York City my whole life. Uh, lived in Queens, uh, retired New York City fireman. I had, over my years in my career, I had a couple of knee surgeries, and over the time, my uh, meniscus was repaired three times and the cartilage had disintegrated. And I was experiencing for about five, six years a lot of pain. And I've gone to other doctors, and they always said that, you know, you'll have to have total knee replacement eventually. And I was fighting that tooth and nail. And I overheard through um, another doctor about a partial knee replacement, and I did some research. Met with Dr. Beagle, with my wife and I. Uh, he explained what he was gonna do, his procedures. He explained uh, how the recovery would go, and uh, he answered all my questions, my wife's questions about you know, what it was gonna take. And we were confident, and I decided to go with Dr. Beagle to do the surgery. Dr. Uh, Beagle performed a partial knee replacement on my left knee. I had bone on bone on that knee, it was very painful. Uh, he explained that it was gonna be through robotics and he explained the whole procedure. And, you know, he just gave me so much confidence in how precise the um, procedure would be. And it would greatly reduce the pain I was experiencing and uh, I wouldn't have any um, complications from it. I went in I probably went into the hospital at 8 o'clock that morning. The surgery was at about 11. And I was walking out of the hospital by 8 o'clock that night. He wanted me to just do the ice machine. He wanted to take Advil and Tylenol for pain. He did give me some other stuff for more potent. I took maybe one or two of them for the entire procedure since the day of the surgery. I didn't have, I, most of the time I didn't need it. I'm fine now, it's been a little over three weeks. I don't take any Advil or any Tylenol now. They gave me a walker to walk to the car, and that was it for the walker. The next day I used a cane for one day. The following Monday or Tuesday, I had the therapist, and they were explaining to me what they were gonna do about how teach me how to walk and, a cane, and use a cane. And they were so impressed that I was just walking. I walked in and walked out, no problem. My surgery was on a Thursday. Election day was you know, four days later, I voted and I walked into the school and I saw a man sitting on the bench and his uh, whole leg was opened up. He had that long scar down the front kneecap. And I asked him, you know, when did you have that done? And he said, about six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. And he asked me, I said, well, I had it four days ago. And he was like shocked, like you had it four days and you're walking? And I said, yeah. He was, he was shocked and he said he wished he knew that he could do a partial. And uh, I was like, I feel great. So I, at that moment, I knew I made the right choice.